In this video, I will show you how to set up your Facebook ad account and get it ready to start running ads. In case you're seeing me for the first time, I am Popka Innocent. On this channel, I will be teaching you social media marketing, which includes Facebook and Instagram ads, TikTok ads, YouTube sponsored ads, and lots more. The sweet part is I will teach you from scratch to expert level. So if you're interested in learning social media marketing, then do well to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Click on the subscribe button below, turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss my next valuable video. Have you done that now? All right, let's continue. There are two ways you can access the Meta Ads Manager platform. The first way is through the website. You can see the website on the screen. Then the second way is by downloading the Meta Ads Manager app on your phone. You can download it from Play Store or you download it from App Store. If you are using laptop, the best way is to access it from the website. Then you can be monitoring your ad on the mobile phone app, okay? But if you are using mobile phone and you want to access the website, you can do that on your Chrome browser. Just check the desktop site on your Chrome browser. That way, you'll be able to access the Meta Ads Manager website. If you don't check the desktop site on your Chrome browser, it will direct you to the app that is already installed on your phone. To run Facebook ad, you need a Facebook page. Note that a Facebook profile account is different from a Facebook page. You create Facebook page for business. You can also create Facebook page as a public figure, or you can create a Facebook page for organization or a brand. You also need to understand that there is a big difference between running a Facebook ad and boosting posts. I will explain that subsequently as we progress. So in case you don't have any Facebook page at all, the first step to running ad is to begin by creating a Facebook page. And this is how to do it. So go to your Facebook, open the app, click on this menu, these three lines. You are going to see pages here. Click on it. Here you will see all the pages that you own. If you don't own any page, if you have not created any page before, you will not see any page here. So you will need to create a page. And for you to create a page, go ahead and click on this create button. It will take you here. Go ahead and click on get started. The first thing you need to do is to enter your page name. Before you come over here, you must have thought of the name you will give the page. So for instance, let me assume that I want to call my own page name Sika United. I'm just using it as example, okay? So after entering the page name, you are going to click on this button, next. You see it at the bottom here, the next button. Click on it. The next step is to enter your page category. So what are you going to use the page for? What business or what product are you using it for? So tap on this add category. You are going to see the suggested categories here, but if in case your own is not there, then go ahead and tap on this particular place to search your own category. So in my own case, my own is under product and service. So I will just enter product and service. So I will search and it is here. If it is a local service, you can select local service. If it is shopping and retail, if it is real estate, select real estate. If it is legal, restaurant, whatever. So mine is on this first one, product and service. So I will select this one and you can see that it has been added right there so the next thing you do click on this next button at the bottom then the next question they will ask you is do you have a website for sika united so since i don't have a website yet for this i will just click on this skip button at the top to skip it and with this your page has been created so you can go ahead to add your cover photo and your profile picture but if you don't want to add it yet then go ahead and click on this button at the bottom done but if you want to add it, then you can go ahead and just click on this plus sign to add it. Okay. So I don't want to add anything for now. So I'll go ahead and click on done. And here is your page. Your page is ready. So you can go ahead to make your first post. Just click on this place. They say post a status update to post on your page. Then another thing you would like to do is to update your page with your phone number, email address, and some other things you would like to add. Click on these three dots here. When you click on it, it is going to take you to this interface. You can go ahead to click on this invite friends to invite your friends to like your page. You can see copy your page link here. You can still go ahead to edit your page. So let us edit now. 
so that we can add phone number email address and some other things so go ahead and click on edit so come under contact info here click here to edit and add your phone number then this is where you add your email address and at the end of the day you are going to click on save and that is going to be saved here okay after creating a facebook page facebook is going to create a default personal ad account for you that ad account is going to bear your Facebook account profile name. That is why it is called a personal ad account. That will be generated for you by default. Another type of ad account we have is what we call business ad account. The business ad account is going to be created by you and I will show you the process of how to create a business ad account subsequently. The personal ad account, you can use it to run your ads and as we progress, I will show you how to run ads using your smartphone with this personal ad account. Now, let Let's go into the Facebook ad account payment settings. There are two types of Facebook ad account payment method. The first one is the one we call the postpaid payment method. And the second one is called the prepaid payment method. Let me explain. The postpaid payment method allows you to run ad and pay after you have reached a certain threshold. Your threshold could be 1,500, 3,500, 15,000 and so on. That is to say that after you have run ad, and you have spent up to one five three five five thousand fifteen thousand as the case may be you will now begin to pay before you run the next ad that is how the postpaid works the prepaid payment method requires you to add the money you fund your ad account before you run your ad and facebook will be deducting your money small small as your ad is running that is how the prepaid works whereas the postpaid you will have to save your card details there and after reaching the setting threshold facebook is going to deduct the money directly from your card now let me show you how it works on the ads manager if you are using android open your play store if you are using iphone open your app store and search for this app meta ads manager so you are going to see this icon this is the app mine is showing open here because i've already downloaded the app if you have not downloaded you are going to see install right here so go ahead and install the app after installing the app click on open this is the ad interface this is how it looks like it's going to look blank here because you have not created any ad but if you have created ad before the ad history will appear here but this one is blank because we have not created any ad so the first thing you need to do is to set up your payment method click on this settings icon it will take you here click on billing and payment then right here you are going to see add payment method because this is your first time of using the app you are going to add payment method because we have two types of payment method we have the prepaid and the postpaid payment method and it is good that you use the prepaid because in nigeria here our naira card is not working for the postpaid so that is why you need to select the prepaid payment method i will show you how to do that right now so you click on add payment method you are going to check your country here ensure that you select your country for instance i'm in nigeria i'm selecting nigeria then select your currency my is nigerian naira then select your time zone ensure that it is on africa slash lagos that is if you are in nigeria if you are in other countries select your time zone okay then after that go ahead and click on next pay attention here this is where some persons make some costly mistakes in setting up their facebook ad right here you are going to see two kinds of payment method this first one here is the postpaid and it is usually on this one by default but it is your duty to select the second one which is naira payment with mastercard slash visa if you don't use that second one you will have problem paying for your ads with your naira debit card so go ahead and select the second one for you to use the prepaid ad method so i'll select this and you go ahead and click on next so this is the next thing you will see here tax information with this tax information is for those who are paying for tax for their businesses so if you have your vat id just go ahead and add it up but if you are an individual you are not paying tax for your business then go ahead and click on this skip button to skip on this amount to add is usually 4500 by default but you can always tap on it to edit it and add the amount that you want to add but in this case we are not 
adding money yet we just want to set the payment method so just go ahead and click on next it will take you to this pay you section you will see continue click on the continue button then right here you are going to see card number card holder name and all that i will explain this to you when you want to add money to your ad account so just click back just click back Go ahead and close this ad font. Close it. Okay. So now that you have set your payment method, you will see that this prepaid font is now here and you will see the balance is zero. Now that your ad account is ready to run ads, in the next video, I will show you how to use the Meta Ads Manager app on your smartphone to run Facebook ads. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and drop a comment below.